Hello again, everybody. Welcome to the Multiverse of Entertainment podcast. My name is James. And yes, you just heard that right. Today's episode is episode six. Can you believe it? Episode six. For me, it's a big deal. For everybody else, it's like, oh, it's not much of a big deal. But today is a good day because we're going to talk about one of the best Cartoon Network shows of all time. That's right. We are talking. Ed, Ed, and Eddie, the lovable trios that you could just sit there and laugh at even if you are even if you've had a bad day. We're gonna talk about the series in general and talk about some of the favorite episodes as well. Um I don't know how long this episode's gonna be, uh, but hopefully it will be a good lengthy episode. Fingers crossed. I hope you guys enjoy it. But before then I'd just like to say thank you very much for listening to last week's episode, which was Die Hard. That was a tough one to talk about because uh, Die Hard is such a well-loved action movie that I tried to do it as justice as I could. I tried to do it really well. Um, maybe in the future, maybe one day we'll uh, relive some of these episodes and uh, probably do a better job. Uh just you know these first couple of episodes of the podcast will be uh dicey and sketchy um and most of the time i'm doing them on my own anyway uh i only have limited uh guests come on to the podcast uh, because so- sometimes some of the stuff that i talk about on this podcast not everybody has seen and it's hard to find the people who has seen it but if you've seen any of these episodes, let me know. Let you know in the comments. You know, it'd be great to discuss like during an intro through and read some of your comments. So it'd be pretty awesome. So if you could do that for me, I would appreciate it. If you're listening to us on YouTube right now, welcome. I hope you enjoy. Please do me a couple of things. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like on these videos share it with friends and leave a comment as well i'll respond to your comments um we're doing really well i'm checking the numbers on the videos on youtube and so far uh the water boy has the most views uh last time i checked it was about 84 so we're climbing to that triple digits there which is really really cool but don't forget guys to like the videos liking the videos helps with the algorithm on youtube so that's how youtube works apparently so please do that uh, if you listen to us on Spotify, welcome. I hope I'm not too low for you in the car. I'm hoping uh, easing your car journey, if it's a lengthy journey, or whether you're in work. I appreciate you. Thank you very much for taking the time out to listen. Right, so with that said, let's go straight into this episode where we're talking about Ed, Ed, and Eddie, which first released on our TV shows. On January 4th, 1999 on Cartoon Network. Let's go. I love hearing the music. I'm so happy I'm doing this podcast because like you forget sometimes what some of these uh, sounds were like as a kid. And as as we know, as a 33 year old uh, man child. It's 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 really cool. It brings so much nostalgia, and I hope it brings you guys nostalgia too. Right, Ed, Ed and Eddie. Wow, where where do I begin with Ed, Ed and Eddie? I mean, like this show is was one of the one of my favorite cartoons to watch on Cartoon Network. Um, no idea where it came from because. The the show sort of emerged onto the scene around the same time as uh, Dexas Laboratory, Power of Puff Girls, uh, Cow and Chicken, I Am Weasel, uh, Smattering of Others as well. I think it was a, like a cartoon cartoon era where they started doing like these uh, cartoon shows in order and and I. My parents hated me watching Ed, Ed, and Ed because they thought it was so stupid. They thought it was so dumb. And and that's the whole point. I mean, Ed, Ed, and Eddie's technically classed as a, is a comedy cartoon, 
but it's also a slapstick cartoon as well. It's just so hilarious how the comedic timing of it and just how three friends who are literally trying to buy jawbreakers and how they end up in different situations. It's just brilliant. Um, and it's just hilarious. So a little background. Um, Ed and Eddie is a Canadian animated TV series created by, I'll, if I get the name wrong, I do apologize, Danny Atanucci. Sounds Italian. If I get that wrong, I apologize. Somebody can correct me. I don't mind that. Um, for Cartoon Network, the series revolves around three friends named Ed, Ed, also called Double D to avoid confusion with Ed, and Eddie, collectively known as the Eds, who are voiced by the brilliant Matt Hill, Sam Vincent, and Tony Sampson, respectively. They live in a suburb, a suburban uh, cul-de-sac in the fictional town of Peach Creek, along with fellow neighborhood kids, Kevin, Naz, Sarah, who is Ed, uh, Ed's sister, Jimmy, Rolf, Johnny, and Plank, obviously, and the Ed's female uh, antagonists or adversaries, uh, the Kanker sisters, Lee, Marie, and me. Under the official leadership of Eddie, the trio frequently invest schemes to make money from their peers to purchase their favorite confectionery, job raisings, as we discussed. Their plans usually fail, leave them various and often and painful predicaments, which is great. It's so, it, it, uh, with a description like that, and then you see some of the episodes, it's just, it's so funny. Uh, it, it, it's, it's such a joy to watch. If you're having a bad day, this show will put a smile right on your face. Um, it's no longer on Cartoon Network anymore. Unfortunately, it finished uh, November 8th, 2009. Uh which which is a shame really because the show was great. I uh, for me, I think the first season uh well there's like six seasons, but like uh I say all the cul de sac antics, all the M episodes were really, really good. Um when they took the series when they went back to school, I did I, I felt like it didn't have that same pizzazz, same comedic element as uh as the cul-de-sac days were but it might have been at the point where my love for cartoons was starting to diminish now because i think those kind of episodes were about 2007 2008 2009 yeah around about that time because you know when you're a teenager all you want to do is uh, go out drinking and you know get up to mischief um <laughs> if anyone knows what that is they know what it is um but yeah the you know this the, you know this this show you know uh he the the creator uh danny the creator um he pitched this idea to cartoon network and nickelodeon uh, it was just surprisingly i just surprised this didn't go i'm glad this show went to Cartoon Network rather than Nickelodeon for obvious reasons, because I think it's better suited for Cartoon Network and for where the show landed during that time. You know, like I said, Dexas Lab, um, Cow and Chicken, all these cartoon shows were coming out, and this one literally just slotted in, just like they were all part of them. Johnny Bravo as well, there was another one. Um, but, dude, the, the, like reading up, doing some research on this show as well, learning like, you know, I didn't know that the show uh had won so so many awards uh for it. So awards won on the show was uh they won a Rubin Award, two Leo Awards, and a SoCan Award, and also nominated for another four Leo Awards, an Annie Award and two Kids' Choice Awards. And the show attracted an audience of 31 million households and was broadcast in 120 countries. So this cartoon was so popular, so popular. And it wasn't just, like, kids. It was teenagers, adults, 
Um, you know, th- th- it was a wide spectrum of obviously my parents didn't like it, um, but my, my me, my brother, and my sister, I I think we watched it. We watched it all together, and it's it's so hilarious. Uh, it ran for six seasons, and it ran for it only had sixty nine episodes. I swear it had more episodes than that. No, it's because 69 episodes are they're all here. Oh, well, didn't think of that. Well, I thought they ran a lot more than that, but um, I'm very, very surprised by that because I thought they had a lot more, you know, episodes. Um, So, where are we here? Right. So, oh, God, I'm losing my place now. Stop it. (laughs) So, I didn't know, so I, again, doing the research on this, there's a lot, um, a lot of stuff I didn't know. I didn't know this was a Canadian made animated series. I didn't know the creator, it was Canadian. So that makes it a lot of fun. That makes it a lot of fun. And, well, it it, it was just a joyous, it's a joyous uh, TV show to listen to, uh, to watch, I say. And, you know, there are, there were, like, spin-offs as well. You had the video games, you had the DVD releases, you had books, comic books. Um, but it is considered uh, Cartoon Network's longest-running original series with a 10-year run. And it was also broadcasted on Teletoon in Canada. So if anybody remembers Ed, Ed and Eddie, please leave the comments down below. It's always great fun to interact with you guys. But... It's so good. This show is whimsical. It's funny. Um, you know, you got. It's basically the journey of three friends who, through the entire summer, just want to have jawbreakers. Just they want a jawbreaker, but they have to scheme their way to get what they want. And like the scripture says, it. They, they often fail, and that's the beauty thing about it. I think there was only one episode that they actually managed to get Jawbreakers. Um, I think it was like the first five or six episodes that they they had a they, they did a scheme and they got a they got the Jawbreakers. And it's a, a, a tie, yeah, that's where it was. Uh, like a giant swing or like a ship or something they uh, the the tire just come out, out of nowhere the camera uh, off shot hits all three of them spits their jawbreakers out and they're running after the jawbreakers that's uh, th- that's class you know you, that's, that's the only time uh they've managed to get jawbreakers we see them with jawbreakers so let me take a drink here They'll be ranting and raving all about the show all day. <sighs> uh, for everyone who's curious what I'm drinking, I'm drinking Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. Oh, it's actually quite nice. I have been on a bit of a diet, I think you've been noticing. Uh, <laughs> so, let's go through some of the characters, shall we? Let's, let's start off. So, let's start off, obviously. Start off with Ed. He's a lovable oaf. We love Ed. Uh, I, I I don't think I've ever met somebody who absolutely hates Ed. He is dumb as hell, really bad bo, and a huge imagination. Kind of like most of us nerds, you know. You know he's he, some of the stuff he says as well. Uh, his laugh is incredible, and some of the like and some of the things he says, like butter toast and stuff like that, that's just Ah, uh, it it just buckles you, and you know he's got a monobro and whatnot, and I know every a lot of people have monobros, but you know he has like specific specific characteristics of him that is just hilarious. Ed Double D, we're gonna have to do Double D anyway. Double D, he is like a goody two shoes kind of guy where he is. He does everything by the book. He's like the gullo that holds the guys together. And he 
you know, he's smart. He's he's a genius. He's intelligent. Uh, he's got a good head about him. Often fails uh, to stamp his authority. Bit of a wimp. Not gonna lie. I but it's a stereotypical nerd back in the day who was like very very nerdy and couldn't really defend himself. But we love Ed. Uh, we love Double D. But we didn't. I I don't know. Did it, some of you will comment before? I don't know if we ever get to see what his head, what he looks like underneath the his sock hat, because I, I don't know which episode it is. But is not that an episode where uh, Eddie ties his ties his uh, hat to the light on the ceiling, and Double D so furious. That he's like, I'm gonna give you such a thrashing, and then the hat pops off, but we don't see anything. All you see is Ed and Eddie's reaction going, Oh my, as they weren't expecting to see what they saw, and then the hat comes back down and you don't see anything. Um, I really want to see what's under that hat, but I don't as well at the same time because it's such a mystery and it adds to the character. It's really, really cool. We love Double D. Double D's the man. Um, Eddie. Eddie's a prick. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Eddie is a prick in this show. He, he's such a douche. Like, all he cares about is getting jawbreakers. He doesn't care how to get it. I mean, they all care about getting jawbreakers, but he doesn't... He, he doesn't have more... He doesn't have any morals until, like, something really bad happens and his morals really kick in. Um, but, but Eddie Ed, does have his like good side, you know, he's funny, uh, he's entertaining, you know, he, he likes to act like himself as a good looking guy, but he's not, you know, he, he, he pretends to be the big shot, you know, about the kids, but all the kids are like, yeah, well, whatever, whatnot, you know, and yeah, we love, we love these three. I think this is like comedy one of the best comedy duos I've I've seen ever, so it's pretty awesome. Okay, so with some of the kids as well. So we'll, talk, we'll we'll go through some of the kids as well. So uh let's talk about let's talk about Kevin first. We'll we'll start with Big. We'll start off with Kevin. Kevin, uh, you know, he's the typical uh high school jock. You know, he doesn't like the ads. Well, I say he doesn't. Li- he doesn't like Eddie. I don't think he minds Ed. Or I don't think he minds Double D. It's just when the three, when when they're around Eddie, he doesn't like them. Hence why he always calls them dorks. And you know, back in the day, when somebody called you a dork, you'd be like, "Oh, I don't like this. I don't like being called that." But now it's like a badge of honor. Do you know what I mean? Because like, who doesn't like a nerd? Who doesn't like a dork? Who doesn't like a geek these days? Do you know what I mean? I mean, just look at my TikTok. Jesus. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm not that bad. Don't worry. Calm down, ladies. Um, you know, and he's always riding his bike. Uh, this, it's funny because, like, every time he rides his bike, it sounds like he's um, driving a motorbike. Like a, uh, uh, like a, a, like a cho- it sounds like a chopper, but he's, drive- he's riding a chopper bike, which is actually quite funny. Fit then. Um, and his dad uh owns the jawbreaker fa- uh the jawbreaker factory so like in one episode he opens his garage door and you see a whole line of jawbreakers from like ch- different countries like japan uruguay england scotland ireland uh the us canada south africa you know all these different countries and you're just like whoa and obviously the Eds are like, I want, well, Eddie's more like, I want one. I want to try every single one. And be like, Aah. and then you got Double D's like, no, calm down, Eddie. And Ed's just like, shush, <laughs> my yeast is rising. You know, so <laughs> something stupid like that. <laughs> oh, I fucking love Ed. I love him. Um, who else we got? We got Sarah, who is uh, Ed's uh, younger sister. What a bitch. Enough said, the better. Naz, who's like the neighborhood uh, 
girl next door, uh, shall we say? Because all the all the guys seem to like like her, so she's all right, you know. I guess. Um, Rolf, Rolf is a is a immigrant who has come from. They don't disclose where he has come from, but his, his accent and his mannerisms make him German. So I'm going to say German. Somebody will correct me otherwise. If you don't, if you correct me, it's fine. But I'm sure he's from uh, Germany. You got Jimmy, who is like, uh, yeah, you know, Jimmy's, Jimmy's a, Jimmy's a, a pussy. Basically, isn't he? He's he's a right old crybaby, um, and you know always cries and something. You know he's like a tod- he's like a toddler, you know. But bless him, we won't. But we all know we all, I think we've all known like a Jimmy now here and there in our lifetime. Didn't we? I think at one point I was a Jimmy. Yeah, I was a Jimmy. So I was a pussy. Ah, oh, there we are. <laughs> Learn something new every day. Um, and then you've got, you've also got um, Johnny as well, who carries a two by four around with him, known as Plank. And Plank's his imaginary friend. Th- these two are again a comedy gold because he's like, because like everybody knows that Johnny is doing the shit on his own, right? And Plank is just a red herring. He he doesn't really have a an imaginary friend. It's just plank. You know, it's just literally a fucking plank with eyes and a smile, you know? It, it it's class. Like some of the episodes with plank where uh Ed where Johnny and uh plank argue and the Eds take plank to like oh, take plank or take Johnny one of them. And I'm trying to get him to fight them one up, train him to fight. I think there's isn't there one one scene, one episode where uh Ed tries to teach Plank uh, sorry, Eddie teaches tries to teach Plank how to fight, and then all of a sudden Plank just falls over onto Double D's foot and Double D's like, ow, ow, and it's like one, two, three. Yeah, it's wrestling. Wrestling match, that's the one. That's the one. It's a, it was a wrestling match they were trying to do and trying to but like the mass muffler or something i i can't remember but that was i think it was the mask muffler mumbler i think it was and oh man that episode is fucking class um i should do some sound bites in here i'll try and find some sound bites but hopefully i'll just add them in here and there auditioning mm-hmm. johnny two by four and plank anytime you're ready kid plank tells jokes Knock him dead, buddy. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. You're killing me. <laughs> Next. Hmm? All right. So let's talk about the episode, shall we? Because I'm, I'm going to first say forgive me for not remembering what the titles of each episode is. I'm literally just going off this by memory. Um, so uh, let's say, right, let's start with the f- top. Let's do my top five episodes because I can add a sound bite here and there for each episode as I as I go through it. So, so I'd say the fifth, my fifth favorite episode of Ed and Eddie would have to be the one where they pre- imagine they're on like a, a planet, right? And imagine they're on a planet and they're getting chased by like this mutant. And they end- where they really ended up was the um the the dump. The Peach Creek uh Peach Creek dump. And you know, they find a a cool little abandoned minivan that has like a waterbed and a uh you know shag carpet in and Ed, eddie's there like all cool in the gang just chilling out and relaxing and they go off then they find they pretend like the mutants are coming they've made all these weapons and gizmos lasers coming out of everything and all of a sudden 
it just turns as they're attacking. Uh, the camera pans, and instead of seeing the shadows of like these monsters they see, it's literally Jimmy and Sarah, and they're just throwing cans at them, and it's just hilariously so funny. We're never gonna find shells, huh? Hey! Oh. Ha! Huh? Cool! Hey guys, come on in! <laughs> Enjoy the genuine shag carpeting hey. and the water bed! Ooh. <laughs> Boys, welcome to Central Command! <laughs> that was a great episode. Episode the fourth, number four in my list, uh, has got to be where Eddie... Well, the, bo the boys find um, this disc and it spins and it hypnotizes people. And Eddie has like a great idea of like hypnotizing the kids in order to get them money. So that 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 is hilarious because by the end, it, it's working so well. And then by the end, uh, the Kanker sisters uh, take it off them and use hypnotize the Ed boys to be uh, dogs and they become pets there. Trailer park, so that was fun. That is a hypnotizing wheel. Allow me to demonstrate. Ed, listen to my voice. You will become mm. what you've always dreamed of. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> oh. Huh? Oh. <laughs> 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 Stop him, Double D! <laughs> Back to it, <Ed>, please! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, uh, my calves hurt! <laughs> uh, episode uh, number three. Uh, Probably one of the first episodes that I watched. Uh, it's where the, the the Ed Boys uh pretend to be plumbers and they try and fix pretend to fix stuff to get for uh, for money. And Ed completely fucks everything up, messes everything up, and the resort to the point where they he rips the radiator out of somebody's house. I think it was Johnny's house, and they're worried about the uh the excess steam is like causing everyone to sweat and double where double D goes, it's so hot in here, it feels like a solder in here, and Ed Eddie just goes, Great, let's make a spa and then they make the spa and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> to get people and everybody's enjoy it. All the kids freak out then because Rolf's um towel falls and everybody <laughs> leaves <laughs> And Ed just bursts in through the, <laughs> the, the through the walls head. Does anyone need a towel or something like that? And he's using and he's still attached to the support beam of the house and the house collapses. Oh, it's so it's 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 brilliant. How embarrassing! Ow! Rolf, you're so gross! Run away! You're on your own, dude! <laughs> Can somebody tell me what's going on? I must protest the rudeness of your guests! Well, what just happened? Make yourself decent, Rolf! You're scaring the customers away, Rolf! Put your towel on! Towel rack at your service! Now look what you did! I can't bear to look his Rolf! Is that the support beam to the house? What's a support beam? This has been quite a day. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Number two. And I think everybody would probably agree with my choice. Maybe not, but I think others would have different. Um, probably number two for me is most definitely when the Ed Boys play Truth or Dare and they switch bodies. So it's like Ed becomes Eddie, Eddie becomes Double D, and Double D becomes Ed. And it's just hilarious how bought all three characters like not only take the piss out of each other but also um 
pretend to be each other as well. It confuses everybody. And obviously leads up to certain shenanigans towards the end of the episode. So that's a great episode. Okay, I dare Eddie to be double D. Eddie, act like me? Why that- Stupid, Ed! You blew your chance to- You know, Eddie, it could be quite intriguing. Why, I'd be flattered if you were to mimic me. Let's see, where do I start? The wind conditions are absurd. The lean is too steep for the fat. Oh, good double D, Eddie. <laughs> 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 Oh dear, the insanitary! My skinny arms cannot bear the weight! Oh, oh, I know! I'll move it with my brain! Ha ha ha, very good, Eddie. <laughs> uh, and for me, now, the number one episode for me is very, very tough. Because there's so many good episodes. So many good episodes. But for me... The number one episode that I think is a really top level episode has to be the fad episode where the Eds are so behind on the fads, trying to keep up with everybody. But as soon as they get on the fad, everybody switches. It's like it's like a TikTok trend for the nineties. So one one time they'd be on stilts, another time they would be. I don't know, sunglasses, different sunglasses, and then something else will come around. So the Eds think outside the box and think, hmm, we'll uh, try a different fad, which they created the Fad Breakers, which they wore like these colorful outfits and a mailbox on the head. So they go around, do all this, try to impress the kids. Ha, we're like part of these. And then the kids do something else, go off, and then. The ads are like, oh, this is not good. And then they go off to do something else. And then they come back and then they realize all the kids are now doing the fad breaker stuff. And it's like, they can't, they just can't win whatsoever. So this one is a number one episode for me. There's so many honorable mentions as well. Um, but this is my number one. Boys, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we're so ahead, we're invisible. I'm quite enjoying myself, Eddie. You are old hat! Fat Freaky's where it's at! Hey everyone! New fad! <laughs> Some people just can't deal with greatness. Huh? <laughs> Quit laying around! <laughs> Oh, uh, that episode! All all those top five episodes just make me laugh. All the episodes make me laugh of this of this show, and uh, yeah, it's sad to see this. Uh, the show is no longer with us, and will be in the infamy of some of the greatest uh, cartoons to ever grace our television. And if you are lucky enough to watch this show in the heyday, uh, it's it, it's it's great to watch um i i'm sh i'm pretty sure there's like dvds of it around somewhere um uh, you can see some of the episodes on youtube as well they are scattered around places um and uh yeah i think that's about it i think um scoring this uh we'll do it out of 99 because it's got a 1999 um i'm gonna give it it is a solid 98 it's a solid 98 because just how good it is. It's so, so good. So, so good. Um, the reason why I'm not giving it a perfect score 
uh, is because I think just for like the the school episodes, I think I didn't find the school episodes funny, but that's the only black mark I guess. Other than that, it's a great show, really, really good show. Right, play some music and then we'll say goodbye officially. <laughs> And that is it, guys. Thank you so much for this week's episode. It's been a blast to talk about Ed, Ed, and Eddie. It's been super fun to go down memory lane, and it's super fun to come back each and every week giving you these episodes. A lot more still to come, and it's going to be it's gonna be great. It's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, first of all, I'd like you guys to go over to our YouTube channel and give us a subscribe there at the multiverse of entertainment podcast on youtube give us a like give us a subscribe notification bell on as well so you don't miss anything share with a friend and leave a comment follow us on spotify as well leave us a comment and leave us a review on spotify this is how the algorithm works so i get we can get more people more folks more nerds to engage with us you can also follow us on instagram at the multiverse entertainment pod Follow us on there. Check out uh, every Wednesday we get a snippet of what the next episode is going to be and our TikTok as well at MoPod as well. Go check us out on TikTok as well. So you get each episode every Monday and you will get a short video, a short clip of what the next episode is going to be like on every wednesday with that being said i have been your host james thank you very much for tuning in let's go see you next week oh by the way better tell you next week's episode is going to be a blast because we're back in the movie genre and next week we are going to be talking about starship troopers don't miss that see you next week have a good one (laughs) 